I've done this video before, but I've got a huge 75 inch version, so but just for fun, I would do this one as well. So check the description for timestamps of dimensions and so on, of the width of the stand and the size of the TV, visa mount information and so on. Now, quick look in top of the box. You can see the remote and instruction book pack, one of the feet, and that's the other foot as well. That's the two feet out, remote control and instruction book pack, quick setup guide. It's the poly off the top. The box does lift off this one, I just thought I'd get the poly out first. That is the box off the top, sides off, large bit of bubble to protect the screen. And that is the TV itself from the front. Quick look at the remote control and instruction book pack. So CI card slot reader, UK figure eight mains lead, I think that's actually about three meter due to the size of the TV, right angled input. There are the little cable tidy bits for the back of the feet, just to guide the cables down the back of those legs to make them less visible from the front. Smart remote, I think that's the premium one, we'll soon see. Standard remote and AAA batteries for the standard remote. Close up there of the smart remote, we can see at the top, on and off. Other input buttons, it'll take you to channel numbers and other hidden buttons. Voice command or voice control button, multi view. Cursor arrows left, right, up, down, and enter. Play and pause, press play and pause, you get rewind and fast forward and so on. Back, home button, volume rocks up and down and in for mute, channels rock up and down and in for guide. Netflix, Prime, and Samsung TV Plus. Flip it over, you've got a solar cell on there to top up the charge or to keep it charged. We can see there if I turn it up, We've got a USB Type-C connection there to charge it up fully or top it up when required. This is the standard remote if it's not supplied in your country. Hopefully that model code shows up. You can just type that in on Amazon or whatever and order one. But power on and off, source or input button, channel numbers, teletext if available where you are. It's not in this country anymore in the UK. Pre-channel takes you back to the last channel, channel you were watching volume up and down channels up and down mute button channel list netflix prime samsung tv plus so they're quick fire buttons to take you straight there left right up down cursor arrows and enter return takes you back step by step exit all the way out of the menu colored buttons for what they may apply to depending on the app you're in settings button there that takes you straight to the settings like a shortcut info you can see the gives you the info bar audio description and subtitles that tiny button there play stop pause fast forward and rewind depending if you're on app or media playback flip it over treble a batteries in the back looking at the feet which are included so solid bit of plastic so we can flip that chip up so we've got a soundbar going over the TV. This will extend the feet, give a bigger gap below the TV or stand the TV higher to allow for a soundbar in front of it or put it down if you want to keep the TV low. No markings left or right, so I'm guessing they're symmetrical. Now looking at the TV from the back, it is going to be a challenge this one because um, I'm on my own, I haven't got anybody with me. I've got to get those feet on. Uh, but it shouldn't actually be too bad because looking at it 
the polystyrene separates from the middle there and at that end as well so I'm gonna slide those bits of polystyrene out lift the TV up and mount each leg there and there before we put the feet in we can see we've got two different slot arrangements there so I'm going to go for the narrower arrangement so it fits on the table obviously you can go for the wider if you've got a table to accommodate it one leg mounted and that's the other leg mounted Onto the dimensions, most important one's probably going to be the width of those legs there. So this is on the narrower setting. At their widest point it's 103 centimetres or 40 and a half inches. From the back of the feet, so the depth, to the front of the feet, 34 centimetres or 13 and a half inches. From whatever it stood on to the top of the TV, 95 and a half centimeters or 39 and a quarter inch to the bottom of the TV It's about four centimeters or one and a half inches Obviously you can do that flip chip and raise it higher for a sound bar or other things underneath The width for the TV in total 66 inches or 168 centimeters The thickness of the TV is 26.6 millimeters at its thickest part if anybody wants to know, it's 32.1 kilograms. It's a 400 by 400 square visa. From the bottom of the TV to the middle of the first visa mount hole, it's about 296 or 297 millimeters. We can see we've got the mains, figure eight mains input there, which can come down, can also be tucked into these grooves down the back of the leg, put the cable guide over, and it'll stop it being as visible from the front. Looking closely at the connections there on the back, you can see we've got the half amp USB, one amp USB there, indicated for hard drive recording, wired internet or LAN, HDMI 2 is enhanced audio return channel, HDMI 1 there, satellite and terrestrial aerial input, third HDMI is on the back, and digital optical audio out also on the back. Peel off that sticker there and attach your CI card slot reader. Just peeled off the screen protector and the, for the side padding bits. I didn't realise I didn't press record properly on my camera, so a bit annoying. But anyway, wired internet mains and aerial all connected, so get the camera ready and I'll turn it on. Okay, so two simple options, set it up using your smartphone to assist it, or you can go remote control step by step. Just gonna make sure the remote's paired. Makes sense. You just see the remote pair in there in the background. It doesn't do it automatically. Press the play, pause, and the back button, hold them down together. So remote control step by step, UK, Put your pin in there. Here it tells me aerial is connected, terrestrial digital, wide network connection. So I'll say install the latest software now, I'll pause and come back when it's complete. So it's come back on now, finished the tuning, region selects, that's where my aerial is facing, which is England and Yorkshire. Next. Okay, 
select your voice assistant, free to choose from there, I'm going to go later and there link your Amazon Prime or other apps using your phone or PC. Okay. Okay, so I'm quickly going to go on to the eco settings there. Singing the national anthem as they pack supplies for the front line. Down to general. To the west, the desperate mobbing the trains. Power and to energy saving. And at border crossings, tens of thousands Brightness optimization will adjust the brightness the depending on the ambient light in the room. At home, it's probably good to use. I'm going to turn Russia it off in store. Motion lighting wanted, definitely turn off. It's trying to decrease backlight in certain areas to save like electricity. Putin, go off to auto troops. power off. I'm going to set you off always from, uh, honoring your military in duty inactivity to protect time. Your native country and our citizens. Also tells us there the available the remote battery in the solar Bluetooth remote, the smart remote. And in truth, okay, I'll shut my mouth and turn the sound up so you can hear the sound. Russian forces have gained ground, with more troops and armour waiting in reserve. Angus Crawford, BBC News. Just the latest line uh, regarding airspace. We've seen a number of EU countries uh, closing it. Norway now uh, adding their voice there, closing their airspace to uh, Russian air traffic. Uh, so we'll keep an eye on that, bring you any more as it comes in. But let's get the latest now on the ground. Let's talk to Harry Lee, a British teacher based in Kharkiv, uh, Ukraine's second city. Uh, Harry, thank you so much for being here on the programme. Why don't you start by just describing to us uh, what is happening all around you? Good afternoon. Um, yeah, last night was quite okay, a... So while we're on a Zoom feed there, I'm going to skip and have a look at the retail demo. So onto the retail mode settings. ...evening until about one in the morning, um, and then starting up again at about six o'clock um, today. So it's been, it's been continuous. They have been getting louder. They have been getting a bit, a bit closer, potentially. Um, and you know, throughout the day, there have been, you know, there have been periods of quite heavy bombing followed by an hour or an hour and a half of a bit more quiet and a bit more peace. Pictures. You can hear the um, you can hear the explosion. Is the city still under Ukrainian control? Based by what the media is saying, yes, it is. Yeah, uh, the Ukrainians, um, no, they they've claimed they control the city. You're looking on social media, and that I think about three hours ago. Okay, the just going to put the destroyed. eco settings um, back again as well. Certainly reduced. Uh, throughout the day. Um, there was an air raid siren about half an hour ago, 40 minutes ago. Um, it's one, one explosion just gone off now. Um, but... I'm going to go on to YouTube and try now? next Have gen you game trailer. Leave? Are you planning to leave? So I'll say credit to Ubisoft for their content. I'm just going to use it to demo the TV on that game trailer there.
So again, credit to Ubisoft there for their content. I'm just going to come out of there. What else is there? So quick movie trailer as well. I shall say credit to Universal Fox Studio for their content. Just want to try out some movie content, see what it looks like. So back to live TV. Of defiance, of patriotic resolve. There have been these extraordinary vi vi videos coming from videos. Okay, so last thing before I go, quick look at the home menu. So press the home button, you can see all the way to the left there, we've got the settings cog with some shortcuts above to the E manual, which is built in, picture mode, sound mode, settings, and so on. Source. So what inputs we've got, a digital butler, connect to your other digital device in the home, search, app, so sign into your Samsung account to browse the app store for more apps, multi-view, ambient mode so we can have different screen savers in the background when the TV is effectively on standby, advert, home, Samsung TV Plus, their on-demand service, live TV which is on in the background, Netflix, Prime, BBC iPlayer, ITV Hub, Disney Plus, Now TV, Rakuten, Apple TV also includes Apple screen mirroring but you can mirror your Android phones as well, all four, Samsung Health, do some fitness and Pilates in front of your massive TV, why not, YouTube, internet browser connect your bluetooth keyboard there for basic internet browsing alexa ok google and my five all in all a big tv a pretty good tv for the money as well it's the entry level qled but in a massive size retails in the uk for about 1200 quid so pretty good and that is all for now Good job.